Oke, okay, hello, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh So, good day again everyone So, today we will be solving um, different examples of um, rational equations Okay, again, just simply remember that our main aim here is to find the value of x So, what is x? Sorry So, what is the value of x? So, that our given will be balanced, equal sila Okay So, that is our main aim here for today. And we will be using two methods, the LCD and then, oh, sorry, the LCD and also the cross product, okay? And simply remember our concept of transposition, okay? So, that would be it. Let's start now. So, let's go to example number one. And our example number one is x minus 2 over 15 is equal to 12 over 20. Okay? So, in this case, ano kayang mas magandang gamitin? Si LCD or si cross product. Okay? So, again, as I have discussed to you, cross product is good for ang ratio natin is 1 is to 1. Whereas, there is only one fraction on the other side and there is also one fraction on the on the right side. But as for the LCD, it could either go like this. Meron kang fraction plus fraction is equals to um, either a fraction as well. Okay? Kung baga, Um, they have many terms, okay? So, the LCD is good for solving many terms, but for the cross product, it's uh, best to use if you have like um, one term on the other and also one term on the right side, okay? So, in this case, so this is one fraction and two fraction. Tig isa lang, well, one on each side. So, the best way to use is the cross product, okay? So, the cross product, of course, you will cross multiply, So, let's try to cross multiply. So, that is 20 times x minus 2. Um, you will notice, guys, that I am using parentheses as multiplication, okay? And then, you have 12 times 15. So, let me just, para med medyo consistent tayo. Let's have parentheses here as well, okay? Now, in this case, you have two terms here because that's minus, okay? 1 and 2. So, what we need to do is we need to distribute, okay? 20x and negative 2. Um, 20x, 20 times x, and 20 times negative 2. So, that would be 20x minus 40. And we have, of course, 12 times 15. And 12 times 15 is equals to 180. Okay? The next thing that you need to do is you need to leave your x alone. Okay? Remember our um, golden rule. Leave, if you solve, if you're solving for the unknown, you leave it alone. Transpose first the minus 40, so it becomes plus 40, 20x, okay? And then, evaluating this one, 180 plus 140, the answer is 220. And then, we have 220, we divide by 20. Bakit po? Because again, we have this given 20 here, that is multiplication, transposing it on the other side, it becomes division ito. Okay? So, we have 20. 220 divided by 20. The answer is just simply 11. Okay? So, again, the, the 20 divided by sorry, it's uh, 220 divided by 20. The answer is 11. Okay? So, for you to be sure whether your given is correct, so you need to check. Okay? So, checking goes as your answer for your x. The answer is 11. Sorry. And then your given will be x minus 2, 15, is equals to 12 over 20. Substitution, lahat ng value ng x dito, papalitan mo ng 11. Giving you 11 minus 2 over 15 is equals to 12 over 20. Okay? So, 11 minus 2, the answer is, of course, 9 over 15 is equals to 12 over 20. For us to check whether our given is correct, we cross multiply again. And of course, 9 times 20, the answer is of course 180. And 15 times 12, the answer is also 180. Cross product po again, okay? So now that we have uh, checked that the given is equal, okay? Tama yan, equal sila on the left-hand side and on the right-hand side. Then we can assume, therefore... Our x is equals to 11. 
Okay, and this is also correct. Okay po. So, I do hope we got that given. Let's proceed to the next given. Wait, let me just align. Okay. okay. Our next given would be um, something complicated. Okay. So, we have 2x minus 3 over 12 is equals to 2 minus x plus 3 over 5. So, this one is ano, ah? this one is in the middle. So, this is 2 minus. Okay? So, this one, you will notice na marami siyang terms. Okay? So, it's more than one. And, the best way to solve for this one is by using the LCD. Okay? So, LCD would go like this. You will check the LCD of all the given number. Okay? Na nasa denominator. Okay? So, we, of course, have 12. Ito yung nasa baba. We also have this one, may 1 yan sa baba. So, ayusin ko na lang yung sulat niya. So, it's actually 2 over 1 minus. Yan. So, we also have 1 and then we also have 5. Okay. So, what we need to do here is we need to check the factors of 12 and 5 and 1. So, we have 1, 1, 1 for each. So, 1 times 12 is, of course, 12. Then, we have prime factor natin siya para mas madali siyang makita. So, we have 12, that would be 6 times 2, that is 2 times 2 times 3, that is 12. As for 1, yan na lang yan. As for 5, it's times 5. So, walang magkaaparehas, therefore, ibaba mo na yan lahat. So, is 5, okay? So, you will, you will get 1 times 2 times 2 times 3 times 5, okay? So, we have 2 times 2 is 4 times 3 is... Um, 4 times 3 is 12, and 12 times 5, the answer is simply 60. So then again, that is the LCD method. You have found the LCD, and you will multiply the LCD to each given term. Sa tatlo yan, so we will multiply it to the 3. So you have 60 times 2x, is it 2x? Okay. 2x minus 3 over 12 times, I sorry, it's equals pala. We have 2. Sorry, let's have 60 times 2 over 1. And that is, I think, minus, minus 60 times x plus 3 over 5. Okay? So, we have this one. Multiply na natin. And the multiplication will go like this na lang. Okay? So, we have 60 on 12. So, what would happen there is you just simply have to divide first. So, 60 divided by 12, the answer is 5. Okay? So, we distribute 5. Ito, distribute natin dito sa dalawa. It will give us with 10x minus 15 equals to this one, 60 and 1. 60 and 1 cannot be simplified further. So, that is simply 60 times 12. The answer is 120 minus 60 divided by 5. The answer would be 12. So, you have 12 times x and times 3. The answer is 12x plus 12 times 3. The answer is 36. And take note, we always have parentheses kapag ka may minus ka. Kasi you still need to change the sign of everything. Okay? So, let's just rewrite this by changing the, uh, after changing the sign. This becomes negative 12x and minus 36. Rule po yan ng subtraction that the subtrahend will change the sign entirely. Kasama po yung ibang term sa loob niya. Okay? So again, the next step for the LCD is you transpose all the terms on one side of the equation. giving Leaving you with, eto dalawa lang naman yan, ba? So eto yung ililipat natin. 120 minus 12x, walang natira dyan. Minus 36, change the sign or change the operation, minus 10x. Change plus 15. Then, simplify po. We combine all the numbers and then we combine all the variables. Okay? So, let's first check the numbers. 120, 36, and 15. Negative 36 and 15. So, 120 minus 36 plus 15. The answer would be 99. Okay? Then, of course, we have 12x negative 12x minus 10x i-add mo lang yan basically it would become 22 I guess 
Yeah, it's 22. Negative 22x. Okay? And the next thing that you need to do here is, of course, you have to solve for the unknown. And in solving for the unknown, you leave it alone. Okay? So, lipat natin si 99. It would become negative 99. Kasi yan ay addition and subtraction lang. Leaving you with negative 22x. Then again, we transpose the negative 22x to the other side. It will give us with negative 99 divided by negative 22. If you may ask, Sir, bakit hindi nagpalit yung sign? What, why did the, um, the sign of negative 22 did not change? It did not change because we are changing the operation and not the sign. Okay? So this one is uh, basically plus 99. So it becomes subtraction or minus 99. And in this one, it's times negative 22. So it would become divided by negative 22. Okay? So dividing this by 11, it will give you 9 over times 11. Pa, 9 over Okay, bakit? Kasi 9 times negative 11 and 2 times negative 11, the answer is negative 99 and negative 22. Okay, so that is already done. And your x is already alone. Therefore, this is your given value for your x. Okay, then again, if you want to double check your given, then you just simply have to substitute. So let's try to check para consistent tayo. Our x is equals to 9 over 2. And our given is just simply 2x minus 3 over 12 is equals to 2 minus x plus 3 over 5. Okay? So all the x here, sorry, all the x here will become 9 over 2, give, leaving you with 2 times 9 over 2 minus 3 over 12 is equals to 2 minus 9 over 2 plus 3 over 5. Evaluating this one will give you 9. 9 minus 3 will give you, of course, 6. And 6 over 12, the answer is just simple. Let's just leave it as is. 6 over 12. Okay? Then on this one, 9 over 2 plus 3. Again, it's 9 over 2 plus 3. Will give you 15. Okay? For a while. Will give you 15 over Okay, having 15 over 2 and this one divided by 5. So again, ang ruling natin dyan is like this, 15 over 2 divided by 5. Pag nagdi-divide po ng complex fraction, we reciprocate the denominator, the entire denominator, and then we multiply. So this is 1 fifth. Okay, on this case, it would simply become, this is of course um, 3. Okay, this is 3. And this would be... Um, what do you call this? This is 2 as is, okay? We divide both sides. So that is 3 over 2, okay? Having this 3 over 2, having this 3 over 2, for, for a while, let me just check. Okay, having this 3 over 2 will give us uh, my 2 minus 3 over 2 pala, sorry. Yeah. So having 3 over 2. And then after that, we just simply need to Subtract po. Okay? So, let's subtract po yung 2 minus 3 over 2. And 2 minus 3 over 2, the answer would just simply be equals to 1 half. Okay? Yan po ay kapag ka tayo ay nag-subtract na. Now, of course, in this given, it's still not obvious whether it's the same or not. So, let's cross multiply. 6 times 2 is 12. And 12 times 1, the answer is 12. And therefore, if they are equal then we can assume that our given x of 9 over 2 is correct. Okay? So that is how you again solve using the LCT. Okay? So let's have our final example. Let's have something that is a little bit um, difficult and confusing. Let's have um, 2 over x plus 2 plus 4 over x minus 3. Yeah, okay. Sorry. Equals to 5 over x squared minus x minus 6. Okay? So then again, ang ginagawa natin dito, okay, this one will be using LCD. Ang gagawin natin dito is, of course, we need to find the factors of x plus 2 
the factors of x minus 3, and the factors of x squared minus x minus 6. Okay? So, dito papasok class yung um, knowledge nyo when it comes to factoring. Okay? This one is always times 1. So, 1 times x plus 2. Because again, it's already raised to 1. It has no other factor. Okay? This one would be 1 times x minus 3. Since it's raised to 1. And of course, um, it's already on the simplest form. x plus, minus 3. Then it's already done. But as for x squared minus x minus 6, it's bound to be 1 times x plus 2 times x minus 3. Bakit po ganyan, naging ganyan yung kanyang um, sagot? This is again factoring under GFQT, the general form quadratic trinomial. Okay? If we will try to express this one using the FOIL method, this is x squared, this is negative 3x, this is of course, uh, sorry, this is 2x plus 2x, and this is negative 6. Evaluating this one, x squared minus x minus 6. Okay? So, going back, so we know that this is the factor po. Sorry, um, I think I wrote it wrong sa, dito sa taas. Okay? They need to be not aligned. Okay? Kasi hindi sila parehas. They are not the same. So, this one is x plus 2. Oops, sorry. It's plus 2. And this one is x minus 3. So, we align those things that are the same. Bababa natin sila. Okay? So, we will have 1 times x plus 2 times x minus 3. And that is our LCD. Meaning again, sorry, we will be dividing our given, uh, multiplying our given, the entire given, all the terms by our LCD. Okay? So, that's x plus 2. So, let me just um, write it down a little bit smaller. So, it's x plus 2 times x minus 3 times 2 over x plus 2 plus x plus 2 sorry and x minus 3 times we have that's 4 over x minus 3 and lastly we will have our x plus 2 times x minus 3 let me just zoom out a little bit kasi it's like really, ano na, really long, okay? Times 5 all over x squared minus x minus 6, okay? So, we now have this given. We can now try to cancel out. This will be cancelled out. This will be cancelled out. But this one will be cancelled out entirely. Bakit? Kasi we do know, based on our LCD, that x plus 2 times x minus 3 is the same as x squared minus x minus 6. So, we can cancel them out. Pares lang naman kasi sila. Okay? Then, leaving us with this one. x minus 3 times 2. x plus 2 times 4. And, of course, we have simply 5. Okay? We distribute 2 kasi siya ay nag -iisa. So, have, we will have now 2x. Sorry. 2x minus 6. And then, we have plus this one. x plus 2 and 4. We will have 4x plus 8, and then equals to 5. The last thing we need to do here is we need to combine all the terms together. Okay? Let's just follow that. Kasi may cases na pwede namang hindi. But let's just follow that. Okay? So, 2x and 4x, the answer would be 6x. Negative 6 and positive 8, the answer is positive 2 equals to 5. Then, of course, we transpose to the other side. This would be 6x is equals to 5 minus 2, giving us 5 minus 2, the answer is 3, and we divide everything by, uh, we will divide our 3 by our 6, kasi this is times 6, when we transpose to the other side, it becomes, again, division, and 3 over 6 is just simply 1 half, okay, therefore, our x is just simply 1 half. Okay, if we will be trying to check or this one by substitution, okay, again, if we will be trying to so, to check this one by substitution, um, our answer would definitely be correct po, okay? Because this one is, I already did solve this one um, just this morning, okay? So, in any case, again, this one is already correct. So, let's just assume that this is correct, okay? So, those are your examples for solving rational equations, okay? So, I do hope you got those examples. If you will be, again, having any questions regarding our ano, um, lesson for today, 
then just simply chat me or of course um ask me in our synchronous classes but then again class i do hope that you will try to um watch this video very carefully and try to understand okay because it's the same as me teaching you in your classes okay so again thank you everyone for listening and then assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh